water quality in DC has improved significantly. So when I grew up here a very long time ago, and when I was a child, if you went swimming, in, you couldn't go swimming in the Potomac River. If you went on a boat in the Potomac River and fell in, you might be sick for a very long time. The National Triathlon uh, includes swimming in the Potomac, which would have been unthinkable, say, 15 years ago. Uh, and um, it's been cleaned up uh, in part uh, as a consequence of the Clean Water Act. The general way that it works is the federal government sets what are called discharge standards. You know, if you're going to discharge uh, a certain pollutant into the water, it can't be, a, it, you have to use this kind of equipment or meet the standards of this kind of equipment. DC Water has, um, is in the process of uh, cleaning up uh, some of the sewage that goes into the Potomac. In the 1960s, um, the most dominant feature of water pollution, the thing that people noticed the most, was really gross organic pollution, sewage. The other thing I should say is one of the very big sources of pollution in the river is human waste. I mean, in others, you know, we you go to the bathroom and that has to go someplace, and um, the that basically is sewage and it goes through the Blue Plains Sewage Treatment Plant, which has a uh, uses bacteria to treat it so that when it goes into the river, it doesn't just go as when you went to the bathroom. It goes as much more treated and therefore much less polluting. Starting in the late 60s, early 70s, there was a really tremendous investment in cleaning up sewage and in, in improving sewage treatment. That has resulted in a dramatic improvement in water quality in the Potomac River and the Anacostia River, such that today um, there's a, a thriving recreational commercial fishery. When I was a child, if you would you would never want to fall off a boat into the Potomac, the fish wouldn't either. The, you can find fish in the Potomac now, it's certainly coming back. It's not all there, but it's improved. So the Anacostia River is a, is a small river. Uh, and to understand what's going on in the Anacostia, you have to understand that uh, it's a very urbanized river. And to think about that, you probably need to think about the concept of a watershed. And some Americans know what a watershed is, but a lot of them don't. In fact, when you do polling on this, some people say a watershed is a shed where you keep water. And that's not it at all. So a watershed is a basin that drains to a particular place. So if you think about, let's just say a bathtub. There's a drain in the bottom of the bathtub. The water throughout the bathtub drains down to that drain. Well, that's sort of like a watershed. Is that the bathtub is the watershed and it all drains to a particular place, and that particular place is a river. Eutrophication refers to the process of excessive growth of plants. consequences of that um, are that when those plants then die um, in the process of decaying, uh, they consume oxygen in the river or the water body. Uh, and then when they consumed all the oxygen, then the higher level organisms like fish die. President Trump's proposed budget could slash state grants aimed at enforcing environmental laws, as well as regional programs that address specific pollution problems, a double whammy for some states. And right now, a lot of people have fear that President Trump is going to do what he said he was going to do in his campaign and really gut the Environmental Protection Agency. And as I'm talking to you today, there's actually a freeze on all grants and contracts from the Environmental Protection Agency that help us to clean our water, help us to clean our air, help us to make our environment great. And if the freeze continues so that the EPA can't help the states and can't help the cities and can't help nonprofit organizations, can't help all of us that are interested in, in cleaning the environment and keeping a clean environment, then our quality of life is going to go down a great deal. 
whoever the president is, the American public is pretty clear. They want clean air and clean water and clean land. And we're all going to have to keep paying attention and keep working. I have been saying I think it is harder to unravel the environmental protections we've put in place than some people think. Um, but I'm worried. And I think that young people like you really have to pay attention and really are going to have to make clear that you do not want to inherit a country where the air is suddenly made dirty again. Um, and that whoever the president is, it is very important that we continue to implement these laws that require that people not make more pollution in the air and more water in the air. I mean, that the anyone who characterizes the important environmental protections for cleaning the air and water as, quote, job killing, don't know what they're talking about. I'm thrilled that you asked me to talk about this because it is really important for young people to understand what's going on with clean water, what's going on with clean air, what's going on with the incredible loss of biodiversity in the world. And we have so much noise in our society right now that it's really hard to stay focused on anything. But if there's anything that's important in our world, it's to protect the environment and restore the degradation that's already happened in the environment. And I'm just really happy that you guys are interested in this. And I'm hoping that anybody who sees this will learn more about the environment and then ultimately act both in your personal life and in your political life to make sure that the environment is preserved and maintained and enhanced for everybody's benefit. The one final remark I have is what I've always said is you can't clean up a river by yourself. You can't clean up the air by yourself. If ever there's something that we all have to do together collectively, it is paying attention to uh, our environment and uh, improving our environment. And it is a very good ground on which we can all stand together to take good action.